What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be upgrading my PS5 to a two terabyte SSD. Got it on sale, it was on sale at Best Buy for like $119.99, um, but I had some gift cards and stuff, so I paid like hardly anything for it. But that's a good deal for a two terabyte SSD. Um, the brand is called Crucial. Uh, I've heard of it before, but I'm not sure if it's good or not. But for 120 for two terabyte, I desperately need some more memory. And then this was also thrown in. This is a Insignia heat sink. Heat sink. Um, it should fit this. It came free when I bought this with Best Buy, so that made the deal even more better. Um, so. We're gonna see how this goes. I saw a couple of videos online, but I didn't see any with the Insignia heatsink. So let's just open up this real quick first. So this is gonna be like my second time taking my PS5 apart, besides putting these custom uh, uh, dark plates. All right. So the SSD comes with obviously the SSD itself. Uh, I've seen online where they some people remove the sticker and put the heat sink on top um, without the sticker, and some people put it over the sticker. So I'm kind of leaning towards putting it over the sticker because on Crucial's video um, on YouTube. They put it over the sticker so I'm gonna do that comes with the screw that we're not gonna use we'll just leave that there now the one that's making me nervous not nervous but it's gonna be a little confusing for me is this heat sink so it comes with a screwdriver and some screws and obviously comes with the heat sink itself which is a two piece heat sink all right so we're gonna definitely have to read the instructions um, I don't need these instructions for right now put that to the side I'm not sure if I'm gonna need it I, I know for sure I'm gonna need these uh these pads here well, I'm gonna need the screws too now that I think about it because I have to screw the, the heat sink, the two sides, I think. So this is my first time installing anything like a heat sink on a NVMe SSD. Remove the protective film from one of the thermal pads and place the pad inside the heat sink. Okay, we're gonna do this. All right, so we got it in there. Remove the protective film from the other thermal pad, and then place the pad on top of the M.2 SSD. All right, well, let's see, hopefully that works. Then place the pad on top of the M.2 SSD. All right. Place your M.2 SSD on the center in the heat sink by Aligning the back of the SSD with the back of the heat sink. All right, so the sides with the with the holes that are elongated go this way, and the SSD sticks out of there. So I put it like this. Place the top cover on the M.2 SSD. So like this. Line up the holes. Okay, so I'm just lining up the holes on top. This is how it's looking for me. Now it says, use the included screwdriver and four small screws to secure both sides of your heat sink. Install your M.2 SSD pin side first in your, okay, so let's, let's put it in first. So let's just screw them in. All right, so now we got a couple screws left. We don't worry about that right now. So now we're gonna go here. All 
right? If you don't know how to take off your thing, I hate doing, taking it off, so I already had it taken off. So here's the compartment. I'm just gonna unscrew it. Comes with a spacer and a screw already. And I believe we just reused the same one. I, I know the heat seat came with one. And also the SSD. But we're not gonna use the SSD or the heat seat one. Alright, so we moved the, the spacer down to the 80 80 position. Okay, and here's the SSD. All right. And then you just stick it in there. Okay, easy enough. Feel like it's in there fine. Make sure when you put your SSD in that you're not rubbing your SSD on the bottom and sliding it in. You should just hover it a little bit above it, above the green part. So that way it just slides right into the slot. Okay, so that's screwed in. Looks like it's lined up, fits perfectly. Now we're gonna go right back here. Slide this bad boy in there. Put this screw back in. Close this boy up. Right, don't want it too tight in case something happens. And then we just close it up. And that's how you install this SSD. Now at the moment of truth, we're gonna see if it actually works. All right, so we're gonna find out if it works or not. Please let it work, moment of truth. See, we got power, it's on the screen. That's so far so good, my luck. Oh, it says, zoom in on this. It says, to use your M.2 SSD, you need to format it. When you format your M.2 SSD, all data on it will be de deleted. All right, we're gonna format it. Let's format this bad boy. Right. The read speed of your M.2 SSD is as follows. If you experience problems while playing a game installed in the M.2 SSD storage, try installing it to console storage. 5,658 megabits read speed. Um, it's not as fast as what is advertised online, um, but this is kind of what I've been seeing people uh, have this read speed, which is still above Sony's recommended date. Recommended speed, which is I think 5,500 megabits. What happened? Okay, it's been formatted. To change where your, your games are installed, go to settings, storage, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we're gonna see right now how much storage we have. Let's see. Storage. All right, M.2, two terabytes, my guy, two terabytes. Let's go. Finally, so this is what it comes up as. I don't know if you guys care, but finally, I get some storage on my PlayStation. Oh my God. I've been having to delete and all this stuff and I just got my PSVR 2 and there's games I want to buy and download but I don't have room and man and there's so many games coming out now I don't have to wait so now what we want to do is make that our main 
installation location. Right now it's set to console. So we're gonna make it M.2, PS4 games, M.2, and we are good. Let's try to transfer something real quick. Games. Let's transfer. Let's transfer something I know I'm gonna play a lot. Let's transfer Gran Turismo. That's 122 gigs. That's the biggest game I have right now. Select items to move. Boom. All right, I want to move that. I'm just going to move. Yes, I know. Let's go. It says 18 minutes, 76 seconds, 85 seconds. there boom let's go let's start it up right now to see how fast it starts seems pretty much normal to me Looks like it's working. Go home. All right. Well, that's the video, guys. Everything's working fine so far. I will do an update video um, every so often just to keep you guys updated to see if, how it's working. Um, I know that there's been people that's been having issues with this certain SSD, um, but then there's a lot of people that, you know haven't had issues at all so you know with everything it's just we'll see how it goes and i will give you guys an update those short videos here and there um but i pray that it works good for a long time and that it doesn't crash on me um but thanks for watching i appreciate you guys and i will see you guys in the next video peace out